Have you a design in mind? PCBWay, our sponsor, offers services that can expedite and professionally craft your dreams into reality with 3D printing technologies. While 3D printing can be obtained on a consumer level by a lot of us, their expert staff, available materials, and far fancier machinery give them the ability to do things like centering, fusion modeling, and stereolithography. These types of printings are not necessarily available to all of us. Turnaround is fast and it's as simple as uploading your design and filling out the form. PCBWay has a large helpful staff to accommodate you and to bring your design to life. Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86, and I'm pretty excited about this one. Today, I'm taking a look at the Infivo 27-inch 1440p QHD 16 Hz FreeSync capable VA monitor. Now, it is 165 Hz, but only via the display port. If you use HDMI, it's HDMI 2.0 that does support up to 1440 and 144 Hz. The higher the refresh rate, the better, but display port is what you want to use if you want 165 Hz refresh, which is what they include. They don't include an HDMI with this, so food for thought there if you need to get an HDMI cable for some reason. Specifically, the model I'm looking at is the KJW27QV, and it's a 250 nit monitor, which feels far brighter than that, and that's largely due to the fact that it's a VA panel, and they just kind of have a brighter feel to me, even at lower actual light output. They're not brighter, they just feel brighter. It does support HDR, however, lower brightness monitor panels like this with HDR, it's it's sort of, it's, eh, it's okay, it's something. It's there, it's there if you want to know it's there, but it doesn't really do much for me personally. The monitor does have a built-in 2 watt speaker and uh, as you can probably imagine it's not that great so we'll just pause here real quick and you can listen to some game sounds over it And like I said, it won't win any sound awards, but in a pinch, you have some built-in sound if you need sound and don't have external speakers. There is a 3.5 millimeter aux on it though, so if you have a smaller, slightly better speaker, you can plug into that and use it instead. If you plan to mount this monitor, this is another thing that you might want to know. Much like the Innocent monitor that I looked at, this uses a 75 millimeter VESA mounting option, and it's inset. So you'll want risers for it and you'll need long enough machine screws that'll fit the 75 millimeter VESA mounting on the back. That's if you're gonna mount this monitor. So I just wanted to make sure to cover that in case anybody's wondering, will I be able to just transfer it to my 100 millimeter VESA mount? Uh, no, it's a 75 millimeter inset that you're gonna need to make a little bit of adjustments with. Let's go over the inputs real quick. The input sources on the bottom of the monitor include the DC input for power, a USB for power delivery, to power things like external speakers that need USB power or a streaming stick if you're gonna plug in something like a fire stick into this, two HDMI 2.0, a display port 1.4 and a 3.5 millimeter aux audio jack now the monitor base is pretty simplistic but for its simplicity it's pretty stellar you snap it in it's got lift it's got tilt it's got pan and it can swing all the way to 90 degrees it's a bit lightweight and kind of makes it feel sort of cheap but it covers all the wants for sure things that you don't get in some higher end things that you might expect you have it here surprisingly with this VA panel we get pretty good color reproduction in a black crush test, I can see all the way up to box one. I did several black crush tests to make sure it wasn't just me being crazy. But in the black crush test, I can see all the way up to box one really easily. Backlight bleed is a non-issue here for me. Sitting here in the darkness, it looks fine. Even when I take the pictures, you can tell that there's lights on in there because that's the nature of how the panel works. There's lights on inside of it that are going to broadcast your image to you across the entirety of the VA panel, but I can't detect anywhere that I feel like would be problematic with backlight bleed. That being said, that doesn't mean that panels aren't going to have problems and that you're not going to have one that has some bad backlight bleed, but for the most part, I don't encounter it here, nor can I truly identify any area I think would become a problem in the future over time and use. And as far as ghosting goes, I have to really kind of force myself to find it. it. It does a really good job, this panel, at, you know, not letting ghosting be so present. And some pretty extreme motions and reviewing some stills, I was able to find some, but it's extremely minimal. Oh, I do want to make a quick note before I forget for console users, because it came up in the last monitor I looked at. You must set your console refresh rate on the console first. Make sure that the game that you're playing also supports the higher refresh rates. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to take advantage of the higher refresh rate monitor. It will work, just make sure you go and check your settings. The monitor's on-screen display is pretty straightforward. I keep kind of hoping we'll see analog sticks become the only thing on the back of a monitor because I really like having an analog stick to kind of control the direction and pick things. One simple depression. But on this one, we have five buttons. The very bottom button is the power button. And other than that, you just kind of go through and find the settings you want. You got pretty simple settings in there to change modes. Beyond that, you can enable things like free sync, dynamic contrast range, and adjust volume. 
It's a pretty basic on-screen display and it's loaded with features that most expect to have in their monitor. Gaming on the monitor has been great. I have zero complaints. For what it costs and how it performs, it gets a big thumbs up from me. I've always felt 27 inch was the sweet spot. And for 27 inches to look good, in my opinion, 1440p is the minimum of which this monitor is. Anyways, guys, I hope that was somewhat helpful and useful to you. You guys have a great day, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next video that I do.